Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. The title of this video was quite atrocious, and it is a bearer of bad news. Just found out today that someone that I know, um, he passed away later, later on, earlier on this week. And I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that he's burning in hell right now. He hated the idea of God, religion in general, and God specifically. He hated all of it. He wanted nothing to do with any of it. He refused to listen to anything about it. Generally not the nicest guy in the world, but at this point I really don't even care about that. I warned him. Other people warned him. And he didn't listen. He did have, he shared with me one experience where he actually was riding a bike, the bike went out of control, and he, he, uh, he said he was flung from his body, and he saw his body as a giant, like, just pile on the side of the road, and he was like, well, that's disgusting. And he saw the paramedics work on him, and eventually he went back into his body and then he felt all the pain of the damage that that accident had wreaked on his body. So, and I, I believe in out-of-body experiences. I'm a Christian. I believe in heaven and hell. And I believe that all of us are spiritual beings. Then yeah, it makes sense for me to believe in out-of-body experiences. So, he had an out-of-body experience. He knew that a spirit world existed. And he was completely unwilling to open himself up to anything spiritual at all, despite having had that experience. On every level, he had no excuse. And the reason I'm making a video as pointedly titled and as pointed as this period is because it seems to me very disingenuous for a lot of Christians to say, well, hopefully they accepted Christ at the last minute. Hopefully they're in heaven. Hopefully they change their minds. And those same Christians never talk about, well, that person's probably burning in hell. I doubt, I doubt they made it to heaven. You know, they always, they try to hold out that last little bit of hope. That just in case, that hopefully, maybe. And I don't find that, you know, I guess they're trying to be merciful. I guess they're trying to be nice. I find it disingenuine. I know where this man is. He's in hell. He's burning, and he's going to burn forever. And so I wanted there to be one Christian out there who spoke the brutal, horrible truth, despite possibly no one accepting it, or liking it, or wanting to hear it. That wasn't God's intent. That's not what I wanted for, no matter how much of a jerk he was. I didn't want that. And I am so incredibly sorry to hear that this happens. The first person that I've known well enough to say, I know exactly where he is, and it's in hell. There's, there's really, there's no room for reasonable doubt here. Could he have changed his mind at the last minute? Of course he could have. But it's incredibly unlikely. So I wanted to be that one, I guess, that jerk that horrible person who just out and out said, hey, this person died, and they're in hell. No one wants to say something like that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow freaks, if you choose to remain that after this video and watching it, you've heard it here. You've heard a Christian say, yeah, that person's burning in hell. And if you don't want to go there, then you need to repent of your sins and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That's how you don't go to that place. Not by being a good person, not by not being a jerk, but by acknowledging the fact that you're a sinner. By acknowledging the fact that you do need Jesus. So, that uh, to say that led me down and brought me down today is uh, the understatement of <laughs> my entire life. And I wanted to make a very pointed video about it and share that with y'all. And because, because of the seriousness of the topic, I usually reserve invitations for um, Sunday morning. I'm just going to say right now, if, if your heart is touched, 
And quite frankly, you know that's where you're going, and you know you deserve it. And I know that doesn't apply to everybody. Not everyone is convinced of that. But for anyone who's watching this, and they are, let me tell you right now what I said earlier. You can get out of there by believing that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he rose again three days later, and by acknowledging the fact that you need him. And if you want a pray, just pray it in whatever words you want, but if you want a model prayer, something to follow, I'm going to pray a prayer right now. Please follow it with me if you so wish. Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner, and I don't want to go to hell like I deserve. Thank you for dying on the cross for me, shedding your blood so my sins could be forgiven, so I don't have to go there. That's not where you want me. Please forgive me. Please wash me clean with your blood. And I also believe you died. You rose again three days later, after you died for me, guaranteeing me eternal life in heaven with you forever. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your sacrifice on the cross. Amen. Hopefully this ministered to some people. And as harsh as this was, I hope... I hope that this was an avenue to bring some people to repentance, to bring some people to Jesus. I hope this was an opportunity for for everyone to see that there's at least one Christian out there who's willing to say right out about someone the doctrine we believe on hell. That there's one Christian out there who's not afraid to just to just let it all out, to not pull any punches as much as it hurts. I do love you if you're watching this video, and I really hope that this will, I hope this wakes some people up. And at the very least, I hope this shows that there's one Christian out there who's genuine and will go all the way with what he believes, even down the darkest road. I love you, and God bless.